A clip of RFK Jr. putting a mysterious blue liquid in his drink recently went viral. The blue liquid is probably methylene blue, a chemical that's suddenly in the spotlight. It's touted as a game-changing therapy that can slow the process of aging and extend lifespan. Now, methylene blue, it's got a fascinating history. It was discovered in 1876 by a German chemist looking for a synthetic dye to use in the fabric industry. But not long after, a German doctor was using it to stain tissues to help them show up better under a microscope. He found that it targeted certain kinds of cells and tissues, and this led to its early use in treating malaria. Methylene blue was the first fully synthetic drug. But how did we get from treating malaria to the thought that methylene blue might help to fight aging? Well, there were some intriguing research results that pointed in this direction. For instance, researchers published results in 2008 from an investigation of the effects of methylene blue on human cells in the lab. They found that the chemical made the cells last through many more generations than is normal, and this seemed to be due to how methylene blue affects the mitochondria, which is the cell's power plant. It increased energy production and protected the cells from damage. So given these kinds of experimental results, researchers wondered if methylene blue could extend lifespan in living organisms. The trial was done through the Interventions Testing Program. This is a program that tests supplements and diets specifically to see if they extend lifespan, and they tested methylene blue in mice. But unfortunately, there were no significant differences seen. They did find that the maximum lifespan in females increased by 6%, but the researchers concluded that the effect size was too small and limited to one sex, so overall they weren't particularly excited. As for human studies, we do have a couple that looked at brain performance, showing that those who took methylene blue seem to have increased brain activity in several regions. They also performed better in memory tests. But aside from that, there's not much other human research. So given the lack of human studies showing a clear benefit, I personally don't take methylene blue or recommend it to my patients, but it's an area of research that I'm following closely.